Residents in Warren are on alert and have been for the past several days now. State police today telling them not to adjust their day to day activities, but be alert and vigilant. And that's just one of what many of them are doing tonight. And Marissa Thomas was in Warren today. So Marissa, we know Burham is getting more pressure from authorities. We've just heard from them. So likely he's becoming more desperate by the hour. So what is this meaning for area residents tonight? It's safe to say, Emily, that residents in the Warren County area aren't necessarily living scared, but many of them are on edge as they wait for police to capture a man accused of murder, rape, arson, kidnapping, and now escape. For those in Warren County, knowing Michael Burham, who escaped Warren County Jail on Thursday, is still believed to be in a wooded area nearby, has them using extra caution. Every night, you gotta make sure the windows are locked, make sure both doors, front and back doors are locked. For Nikki Atkins, not only has she been more vigilant in her personal life, but also at work. Actually, I work at, I work at the hospital, Warren General, and we're under like complete lockdown. So we have to use specific doors. We have to bring our keys everywhere. Um, we can't, um, so like they have to let us in if we don't have our keys, like if to knock on the doors or main entrance, main entrances, um, you can only use those. For others, while still being cautious, haven't let the situation alter the way they want to live, whether it be biking or playing ball outside. Yeah, I don't think anybody, I, right here at, at the ball field, just people walking their dogs and doing their thing. You know, we come down, practice some softball. So I actually live about two blocks from the jail where he escaped in, in my backyard and it's all the wooded area. It's where they say he might be hanging out. But I was in my yard all day painting windows, mowing my lawn, trimming it, working on my garden. I kept an eye, you know. I had my phone on me, but I'm not gonna let it scare me. Michael Atkins says although he's not too worried, he still hopes Burham is found soon. I'm gonna live my life the way I'm gonna live my life, you know. Hopefully nothing happens, hopefully they catch him soon. And if there are people that are nervous and scared, that uh, it can end it. I also ended up visiting a canoe and kayak rental facility tonight, and they said they're still seeing people come in and taking advantage of the weather and nature, but they're still being cautious at this time. Live from the studio, Marissa Thomas, Erie News Now.